Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today we're going to talk about preparing for the Doom 2 raid. As we learned uh, just today in the blog, there is a the new raid is not only coming, but we got a lot of details that I think tell us how to get prepared. It looks like it is going to be coming with the next patch here. You're going to be able to launch Doom 2. It looks like you won't even need to complete 100% on difficulty one of doom one so you don't even need to 100 percent doom 1.1 to launch this is what the way i read this and you know alliances are gonna i think have it uh you know be able to just get their members into doom 2 right away there's some things that i really like about this uh and, and i think one of them is that the blue iso requirement isn't ridiculous so one thing i will just say that for doom one Having level five green at the time was just awful for people because it was much harder to farm at the time. Most people didn't have it. I know for my alliance, which is full of you know all sorts of whales and stuff, a lot of people did not have their full raid teams at level five green at the time. But now one thing I'll just tell you, you know, we've been running 100% of one, uh, Doom 1.1 for a long time. And we have no, we're going to have no problem having everything at, at level three, all of our raid teams. So if you just are running 1.1 for long enough, uh, I, I certainly think getting characters to level one shouldn't be too hard. Now, I imagine it's going to be hard enough where you're going to want to have your characters at level three. And what I would really suggest to all of you is to start aiming towards getting the key characters to level three. That's what we're going to talk about today. I think that's that's what really matters here is making sure that you you not only get all of the characters in your team for level one, but that you focus the right characters up to level three to make it as easy as possible. Because one thing I will tell you, I, I have you know been pushing hard raid content on release as soon as it's you know been doing that for a while here, you know, stuff. You know, being one of the, I was, you know, clearing a, a full lane in Doom First Trike, for example, when it first came out. It's hard in the beginning. You know, back then I was trying to use characters like, you know, whatever, Hawkeye and Zemo uh, to clear the skill raids, uh, sk the skill nodes in the Doom Raid or, you know, things like that. When you're when you're doing that, if you're using Mordo and Hela uh, as opposed to using the new Warriors, it's just a lot harder. And here we're using, essentially for Doom 2, we are using characters that you know were designed around doom one and unless you have the all the new characters geared up uh and and starred up and isoed up it's going to be a challenge and so to be ready for that challenge i think having blue ice on the right characters is important and so what i want to focus on today is those characters for each section that i think you want to focus on <clears throat> and obviously one thing i'm just going to tell you I have not seen Doom 2. I've not played Doom 2. I'm not, I have never seen any of the nodes. So this is based on just what we know about the game, what we know about Doom 1, uh, 1 and 1.1. I don't have any special knowledge. So here's what I would say to all of you. If you have access to all of the bio characters, in other words, I can't tell you, you know, some of you are going to have certain characters you haven't unlocked. Uh, you know, you, you know, for instance, some people are like, I don't have Philovel or I don't have, I wasn't, I haven't gotten lucky on anti-venom or Symbi Spider-Man that I you have to take that into account of that by yourself. But I would say, you know, the safest bet for right now is ironically the symbiotes for bio, uh, you know, for doom difficulty one, you know, doom 1.1, 1 .1, the, the symbiotes are the best team. And what I would say is you know, unfortunately, having them at high blue ISO is, is really what makes the difference. People are asking me all the time, how, you know, how do you do well on the, you know, the bio nodes in difficulty one? And what I've told people is really the blue ISO has made all the difference. And, and that's been, I, when I asked around my alliance, that's what people were saying. I mean, it's very, very difficult uh, to beat the, uh, the uh, bio boss in the diff in difficulty one and even in a good two shot really if you're trying to get it almost done you know there's some people who come close to one shots but they can't really do it reliably in 1.1 but it's all about having blue iso so what i would say is unfortunately 
Uh, we know if you are really pushing Doom to right now, like as soon as the patch starts, if you're in an alliance that's pushing it, you're going to have to make sure your symbiotes have Blue Iso on them. Not just level one, but I would say, unfortunately, this is, you know, certainly I would say Symbiote, Spider Man, and Anti Venom are the two that you really don't want to have die. I mean, Anti Venom, you need to res. Symbiote, Spider Man, to me, is so important to the team. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, you know, having Blue Iso on them uh, as high as you can is important. So, if you're going to go. For for bio, I would say them. I, I I would say certainly, you know, there are other options here. I know some people use Phyla Vell. In fact, in my own alliance, people who have every character do use Phyla Vell instead of Venom. That is an option if you already have her to Blue Iso level three. So that is an option. Uh, but I, I wouldn't get too cute beyond that. In other words, I think in Doom 2, it's, you're probably not going to be able to get away with just throwing in Black Bolt and Yo-Yo. Okay. So that is my suggestion for bio. Uh, what I will just say is one thing I haven't done here, you know, usually my first thing that I tell, uh, I have told players for Doom Raid is I'm like, you know, hey, focus on Kestrel and focus on Doom. I don't think you need me to tell you that, but frankly, they're really now <clears throat> only super necessary for tech. So I'm really going to view them and focus on them when I discuss tech, I'm actually, let's just do that now because that we're going from hardest to easiest. So bio to me is the hardest section right now based on the fact that the characters we have there are all old power crep characters with the exception of Phyla Vell, who's really not a raid character in my opinion. <clears throat> not really built for raids. Uh, tech to me is all about Kestrel and Doom. And the great news is you can use them in another section so you're getting a two for one. Uh, I don't I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just take both of those characters up to level three blue ISO as soon as you can. Because you're gonna need them in two sections. They basically carry you in tech. Doc Ock is also important. I'd say he's the third most important character. And if you're gonna put level three blue ISO on characters for tech, these are the three. And <clears throat> the in the order I would say Kestrel, Doom, Doc Ock. Although maybe you know, depending on where your mystic situation's at, you know, if you have a good secret Avenger team, Kestrel may be less important in skill, whereas Dr. Doom, you may need more in mystic. So that's something that's individual rosters and individual folks can take into account. But those are the two important characters here. She's probably the most important. He's a very close second. Doc Ock is third. The rest of the characters are just mixed and match, okay? The four of the fifth characters are not that important here. And I'm going to walk through potential choices, uh, Nebula, people like her just because she doesn't die easily because she's got decent health um, and she's got evades and so forth. Uh, and her, you know, she's been since the rework, her damage is okay, <clears throat> but you know, she's not very good outside of her team, in my opinion. She's just okay. Misty Knight, uh, I use sometimes in the Boston just for the ability block, but I don't think she's the best choice there. I've tried her quite a bit, and I just don't think the ability block helps as much as I'd like. I still like Shuri, but most of the people in my alliance don't use her anymore. Uh, I still like using her. And the reason I like her is I like her defense up, uh, which she gets very early because she gets speed up on spawn. So she gives a, a, a defense up quickly, which lowers uh, the uh, incoming damage of 50%. And then she also has the de the automatic deflex that come out um, whenever a uh, uh, an ally drops below 50%. It's like a out of turn healing so to speak it's an auto it's sort of like how black bolt's pinging or kestrel's pinging she's dropping deflex which is really nice in raids the issue with her though is her health's only 257k on mine and this is g well g14 i don't have her g15 but still level 80 level 3 blue iso and that's her health um you know i i she's a character where i use her but she's like eh and I may need to go up more all in for her, depending on how the other options look. Uh, we'll also see Lady Deathstrike, I think is also going to be potentially an option here. Ghost, I like, uh, does some decent damage, but unfortunately villain tech, so dies very quickly in the boss node. We'll have to see in Doom 2 how many Dooms are there. Minerva, many people in my alliance prefer her. I, do, I, I think her revives aren't as helpful in the boss node because of all the, the Black Bolts. Uh, and then there's just these choices, Falcon, uh, Ultron, um, you know, th they're okay. Um, you know, there are people who, uh, who use them, uh, in my alliance. And I would say those are sort of 
okay-ish choices. Ultron, of course, he has villain tech. He's got a lot of black bolts in the boss node, you know, and I imagine there's going to be some some uh, black bolts in Doom 2. We'll see. Uh, so, you know, there's definitely some options here. None of the fourth and fifth options really excite me. So to me, that's just based on what you've built up. Those are the characters, to me, that you don't need to have at level three. Those are the characters. I actually think there might be a benefit to you to have multiple of them at level one blue ISO so you can mix and match them <laughs> and you don't have to pay for raid heals, okay? Um, all right, let's 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 go to some of the easier sections, all right? So I would say if I'm going to go now, you know, what's, what's the next section in terms of difficulty? Probably mutant at this point. And to me, the safe bet in the section is Axemen. One question I'm getting from people is, well, do I think some of these new characters like Omega Rad and Wolverine and Sabretooth, how are they going to be in raids? They just don't scream raid team to me. Uh, Omega Red, I know, is going to be very powerful. I don't really know whether taking off Kitty Pride or Iceman will be worth it to throw him on. We'll see. <clears throat> but I've, you know, I put, I brought these characters up to level three blue ISO. Um, I'll probably will end up having to invest more gear in Iceman and Kitty Pride. I still don't have these two at, at uh, gear tier 15. What I will say is this, you know, Bishop for Mutant in Nodes is the number one character to get level three blue ISO on, period. He is needs to be big. You want him to be a striker. You want him to hit really hard. As long as she lands her debuffs, you're fine. The, the issue is, particularly if you have lower stars, you probably have to have her skirmisher to get the 50% extra focus so she lands her debuffs. Beast, as long as he stays alive, is fine. These two, less essential. They She she goes into stealth and has a lot of evade. Uh, uh, and Iceman can res himself, so they tend to stay alive, but that probably in Doom, in Doom 2 will change. And then when we get to the, uh, the, the new sections, I think they're a lot easier. <clears throat> you know, with Mystic, to me, the core is going to be Deathpool, Dagger, and Cloak. And then the question is, do you want to use Surfer, Adam Warlock, or Doom? I, th I recommend Doom as a safer choice for most players. The, the Doom bots take on a lot of damage, plus you're already going to need them for tech. So I just think that's an efficient choice for most players. So the, the issue f for a lot of folks is going to be Miasma. And I know that this is an issue for a lot of players. So Deathpool, Cloak, Adam Warlock, and Doom all require Miasma. Total BS, uh, scopely way of trying to, to push you to spend money. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I guess my perspective on it is, you know, from it de really depends on the player. Which of these characters you want to focus on first? I think Doom, for a, most players that are, you know, just getting into Doom raids... That's the safe investment because he's going to help you in two different sections. And you need him in tech. It is what it is. So he's the kind of the one to focus on first. These other characters less essential. You can get by without Cloak and Dagger and Deathpool. Or Cloak and Deathpool and Adam Warlock. It's just they make it a lot easier. Uh, if you don't have all these characters, you know, if you don't have these characters, Silver Surfer is obviously a top tier option as well. A lot of people believe Adam Warlock and Surfer are the best fourth and fifth with new warriors. It's, they think the jury's still out on it. I I, I blow through the nodes uh, in 1.1 with I, any combination of those teams. Other than those guys, uh, you know, Thanos and Ebony Maw are really long in the tooth. They're not very good anymore. Um, you know, but you know, but they are plug you know options you can plug in. Hell is Dan, her health is way too low. She's get she gets one shot in Doom 1.1 without. Blue ISO, uh, I think she's, um, you know, she's a character who probably not going to make it far in Doom Raid 2. You know, you can use Mortal sometimes or Moon Knight, but that's that's basically about it. The rest of these characters uh, just don't make the cut, in my opinion. I mean, people, if you're using Hela and Mortal, will also use Ghost Rider. But this was this is what we were doing in the early days of Doom First Strike, and it, I just don't see those kind of characters holding up in doom 2 so unfortunately i think you're going to have to invest in some of these top tier characters and for folks that don't have a lot of miasma that's just going to be a bottleneck for you okay and then for skill you know it's all to me all about the secret avengers so captain sam Ray hill and sharon carter are the clear choices here and then you know kestrel so kestrel is the most important character for the skill section even with the secret avengers she, you need her for tech anyway, so there, there you go. That's the most important character in the game right now, in my opinion. And then you, you put the, her with the Secret Avengers, and it doesn't matter who your fifth character is, literally. 
Shang Chi's probably the best. Uh, you know, Gamora is fine. Moon Dragon's fine. Colleen's fine. Black Widow's fine. Nick Fury is fine. Red Guardian, Night Nurse, etc. But <clears throat> what I would say for Doom Two, if it were me, uh, I would go with, uh, you know, the Secret Avengers plus Kestrel plus any one of the new power crap, you know, super power creep type, you know, characters, Shang-Chi, Gamora, Moon Dragon, something like that. I think those are the safe choices if you're going to go. But do you really need these characters to level three blue? If you're on a budget, I wouldn't focus as much on this section other than Kestrel, who you'll need for tech. I think the, this team is so strong that you're probably going to be okay. And I would say the same thing if you have Cloak, and Dagger and the Adam Warlock and all those sort of characters for Mystic, it's the same sort of thing. You could focus more, ironically, in the sh in the early stages, getting some of the other characters up in Blue Iso because they're going to probably need it more, okay, than those new super uh, raid teams. Um, now, one thing I will just say <clears throat> that I is important for everyone to keep in mind, the rewards here are a, this is a team effort this is an alliance effort and if they say the amount of gear you get in t4s and everything and blue iso is not gonna is not you're not gonna doesn't matter if you're in rank one or rank 24. so what i will just say is you really have to focus with the rest of your alliance and look at where your alliance is at and i, I think this is a time to really evaluate for yourself am i in the right alliance is this alliance in the level of raid that I want to be in and for your alliance, you need to, to really, you know, be paying a lot of attention to your conversations with your, your own alliances. You know, am I somebody who has a big bio team that has a big tech team? Am I going to be, you know, needed, you know, for, are we, if we're going to focus just on certain getting to 30% or we're going to all go down the middle or whatever your strategy is as an alliance, you want to make sure that you're building up the characters that your alliance needs to get where they want to go because you you basically win or lose as a team here, okay, which I love. I, I love that because I think you don't want to have, be in an alliance where everyone's grubbing over nodes and fighting over nodes. I think it's great, but I think that means that when you are making these decisions for your own roster, have conversations with your alliance mates, all right? If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. If you have comments or questions, post them below. And obviously, go to, you can also go to my Discord. That's linked below. Lots of great conversations going on there about Doom Raids and so forth. And also, you can go to my Twitch stream. That's where all these videos are made. That's linked below as well.